Hey everybody, I'm Alucia. Today we're playing the Marathon and it's gonna be awesome. We're on level uh, 8, I believe, 9, sorry, G4 sunbathing. Uh, this is a vacuum level, so I'm not gonna waste much time. Incoming message from Leela. I just finished a cursory examination of the Marathon's radar, infrared, and visual light sensor logs. I've determined that the alien ship must have a faster than light drive because I have found no record of a ship entering the Tau Ceti system. There's the Tau Ceti reference I missed it before. Considering how extensive the Marathon sensors are, it would be almost impossible to conceal a ship as big as the Fours, which is nearly two kilometers long. With this knowledge, sending a light speed transmission to Seoul may be futile, but it is the only possible way to warn Earth of a hostile alien race. We must try. When the aliens initially attacked, the entire G4 sunbathing loading station suffered explosive decompression, leaving the entire station in vacuum. Since the area is in vacuum, you will replenish your oxygen supply. There is an oxygen supply outlet in the center of the station. This is where you are now. The secondary relay needs to be manually reset. The dish array is in the upper left corner of the map of the G4 Sunbathing State Landing Station. This is the dish array. Once you reach it, reset all four of the control switches. Proceed to the terminal at this location. I will transport you off the station. The area's doors are not functioning properly, so I don't know the best route to get the dish array. You will have to find it yourself. End of message. So. If things look a little bit different than the way I ended the last uh, recording, that's because I went back and replayed the levels when I was doing the post-commentary to show off all the secrets. So I now have all of the stuff that you find in the various secrets in the game. This There's a trooper here. We're going to go to this way, which is probably going to end badly. I really need to find the place where you can restore your uh, oxygen. Uh, I will save again, and I'm not going to save over because, as I mentioned once before, ah, there's a place I can reach for shields. Hopefully, there is an ox. Aha! This is an oxygen recharge station. It will refill your oxygen supply. Remember where they are because you really need them. Uh, this level is very hard in the sense that I'm actually going to save again here. In the sense that if you aren't careful and you let your oxygen supplies fall too low, you can potentially save the game in a place that you cannot possibly survive and end up dying. So, it is potentially a very dangerous level to play through. Ah, that's our first hunter. You remember we got those mentions to us in uh, Leela's report from the people that she interviewed. It was the hunters were large, cybernetically augmented for... Ow. Ow. Who, uh... Did not take prisoners and fired from the shoulder weapon, which matches the... These guys match that description. We have an entire hallway full of guys. Thankfully, I have a fusion pistol, and these four uh, hunters, like the compilers, take more damage from the And I have plenty of fusion ammo, which is also very good. Now, I do have two pistols, so I'm going to be doing pistol ammo extra fast uh, from this point on, probably. But it does double my pistol lethality, so we are going to go back briefly and get my health restored, uh, if I can find the way back. <laughs> this is bad. I'm getting lost in the corridors. I just walked through. That's kind of sad. Uh, that's not the way to go. That's not the way to go either. Wow, this is really kind of sad. I think it's this way. Yeah, it must be this. No, maybe? I don't know where I am anymore. Oh, crap. That's... Aha! I was going to say, that's really bad, because this is a vacuum level, as I've mentioned several times, and getting lost can kill you, whereas in other levels, when you get lost, it's not such a big deal. Uh, we're going to restore ourselves to full health. This level has no secrets on it, so there will be no post-commentary, and I will try to show off the secrets when I'm live playing the rest of the levels in the game, as I do have a guide that shows where all of the secrets are. Uh, I missed a couple of minor secrets in the past. Ooh, another place to restore me. I wonder if I can switch. There are switches in some of the games that you cannot hit with tab that you have to punch or grenade or charge plasma bolt. Yes, charge plasma bolts also hit switches. I don't think I mentioned that before. That's a jammed door. Uh, I really don't want to jump down there because I don't remember how you get out of there. It is possible to get out of there, and I have been down there in previous playthroughs. I just don't recall how to get out of it right now. And I don't really want to get lost down there and have to try to, fry it, but try to figure it out on camera 
while I'm depleting my uh, breathing ability, my oxygen supply. Breathing ability, that thing that every living thing has. Well, every living thing that we know of. I'm sure there's anaerobic uh, bacteria somewhere that does not uh, need oxygen to supply, supply to survive. We just don't know of any as far as I'm aware. And we hit this, and this opens a little door, and this is an airlock. So we can open this, and go down here, and head through here, and I have no idea this is taking us. This may be taking- yeah, this is taking us out to the area that I said I didn't want to go into before. But at least now I've found a way back. I was not actually sure where that was. <laughs> Things that go hoot. Oh, that reminds me, I should turn down my- I was having a problem hearing myself over the gunfire in some of the pieces of the dog. So, just a moment. Not off, just down. There, that should make it much easier to hear me over the gunfire and exciting music. I'm sorry for people who are enjoying the music. I have to turn it down because I want my commentary to actually be audible. And it was in places kind of hard to understand over the uh, ongoing assault rifle <laughs> unloading, which is just, uh, not that bad of a thing. Um, crud. I, I'm i getting lost in an area I just found the entrance to. Okay, there we go. It's over here. Good. Uh, I don't really have much to talk about on this level. There isn't any secret stuff. There isn't anything really all that noteworthy on this level other than your mission. Well, and then you find out that the four probably have a faster than light drive, but that's not very surprising considering that the closest uh, system to this one would probably be like 10 light years away. So even at high sub-light speeds, it would take like a decade for them to come up here. And this place, this colony has only been here for five years, according to the uh, opening spiel of the game, which means that they probably would not have come here. Durandal wouldn't have had time to detect and communicate with them in the time that the colony had existed. So we're going to go back and restore my health again, assuming I can find my way back again. Yeah, this level is one of the worst ones in terms of how easy it is to get lost in it. There are a lot of alternate paths and a lot of hard to reach places and places that don't necessarily connect to one another the way you might expect. Likewise, we run into the problem that this is a very 3D level and our map is only two-dimensional. So you run into the problem that sometimes things will look like they connect where they don't. So be very aware that your map may not be completely trustworthy on this level, and it will get worse from here. The later levels of this game get downright diabolic diabolical in terms of how hard it is to tell where you're supposed to go by looking at the map. Now, we're supposed to be finding our way to the center of this, the uh, thing at the top left, but our last option to get up there was blocked off. Oh, there's more pistols here, so we would actually get a second pistol on this level had I not gone back and gotten one earlier. So, I'm not sure it was... Yeah, you can see over there, there's lights flickering on and off. They, they did a lot of interesting things with this level in the sense that the uh, places you're supposed to go are fairly clear, but how to get there is very not clear. So, you end up spending a quite a lot of time trying to figure out how to actually get to the places that you know you're supposed to go to. And here we have another airlock, which will lead us presumably back out onto that lower level again in a different area. Yep. And here we have a whole bunch of uh, troopers with assault rifle equivalents in a vacuum. Why can't my, why can't my assault rifle... Ah! Ow. <sighs> ow. I probably deserved that, but still. Ow. <laughs> I'm going to waste a few bullet bolts there. I do not think you need to go down into the lower pits at any point in this level, so I'm going to try and avoid doing that in the future because it's full of aliens and it's only there if you fail and end up falling down there. That is the terminal where we started. You can see there's no connection to the top left of the map. The only way to get to the top left of the map is to hit the bright switches to open the doors in particular parts of the map, which you can then, ow, then go through in order to reach the end goal of this level. So you have to kind of go through most of the level just to get to the ending. There isn't much optional parts of this level. So the parts of it you can skip, you generally should. 
This one, you, you see that's the name, that's uh, one of the control systems. And then we're gonna head this way. I'm not positive that this way is the right way to go. I'm just thinking that it is. There is a, you have to open that door eventually. I do not recall which switch does that. Unfortunately, it's been quite a while since I did this, so we'll see whether or not I can figure it out. There's no power in here, you'll notice. There's another switch somewhere that turns power in there on. This door is now open. And not that door. I believe this, nope, this door is still closed. So wherever we're supposed to hit the switch to open these doors, we haven't done it yet. That's problematic. Uh, there's a compiler who's going to jump down here and I will follow him because I can kill him fairly easily. Maybe. Maybe I can kill him? Come on, die! It should not be that hard. Ah, uh, failing at video games. It's humorous. Intersect, uh, no, that's not very work. Ah. Being funny on the internet, one-on-one. -on -one. Fail at things. That is the first step to internet greatness. At least that's, if YouTube has taught me anything, that is the primary requirement to actually get to be popular. Be bad at games. And be funny while being bad at games, which is much harder. Now, we are supposed to go there as well. Do I remember how to get there? Not at the moment, but we will see. All right, so we're going back through our airlock again. I'm sorry the commentary on this is kind of dull. It's hard to stay enthusiastic when you're trying to do this quickly and trying to do this carefully because there is this level is dangerous not because there are tons of enemies and tons of things to fight but rather because the environment will kill you which i like because it's a nice change up from this usual way that you play instead of this being primarily an extermination or uh, mission about fighting things it's primarily a mission about exploration when you're on time limit well a refreshable time limit but still so you have to be a little bit careful about how you explore, how you move through the level, what you go, what you trigger, that kind of thing, and keep close attention to where you where you have been and where you're going so that you don't end up covering the same things over and over again. Now, there is a way into the, these two on the side, if I can recall where. M C D C U C D V. DS, MC. I have no idea what any of those stand for. Uh, we are going to go down into this pit over here. Ah, why are there invisible compilers where I spawn? Where did you guys come from? Ugh. Ah, another compiler. Too many compilers on this level. Hello? Ah, more compilers. <laughs> compilers are one of the few vacuum capable enemies. These guys are another one. Uh, the hunters are another one. There is another enemy type we have not yet encountered, which are vacuum capable. I don't remember where you first encountered them in this game. They're very, very dangerous. They will probably kill me repeatedly when we finally find them. Now, where is... There's someone else around here. I heard you shooting at me. Ah! You cannot hide from me. I'm going to punch you. Punch. I'm going to fail at punching. Ugh. I'm going to die horribly in here in a moment. Yeah, I'm definitely dead in a moment here if I'm not very, very lucky. Thankfully, while these guys ugh, these guys double fire grenades. I don't think they do that on standard difficulty. So I would guess that I'm definitely playing on higher than the difficulty I'm used to. Which is not necessarily a bad thing because it makes for better humor, I suppose. <laughs> if nothing else, you can watch me fail harder. Um, we were back. This is not where we were before. This is a different entrance. Oh, this is the one that we went down where I died earlier. Now I'm going to restore my health and my uh, oxygen again. Again. Yeah, I'm sorry. I keep coming back here. But this is kind of what you got to do when you play this level. Because this is your only real reliable source of oxygen and, uh, and health. And if you don't get enough oxygen and health, you die quite quickly. So you have to be very careful about re backtracking, making sure you get what you need, going where you need to go. It's tough for me to stay enthusiastic on this level and stay, you know, excited because it's very long and kind of tedious. And you spend a lot of time just kind of running through the same corridors, being a little bit lost. At least I always have. Ah, we're back here. Now I'm gonna hit that switch and let's see. Okay, this is open now. 
This was not originally open. I and there is another oxygen supply thing here. There's no switch. It's in this little alcove. There's none in this one either. There is a dead four I had killed early up here. So we're moving closer to where we need to be. We just haven't gotten there yet. That switch cannot be activated. I think I activated it earlier. We are going to go back this way and back through the middle and see whether or not anything else has changed. Unfortunately, that is kind of the way this level is laid out. You have to go back and forth a lot and just check for changes because sometimes you'll find a way to get into something you couldn't before. Like this. This is the DS controls, which I do not believe we could get into before. Which were unlocked by something I did elsewhere in the level. These are the uh, controls that we were in before that I already activated. And I believe in the process of this level we will go in all four of the control rooms. But I do not recall what order we go through them. Or how we unlock all of them. So this is going to be kind of clumsy. I'm sorry. It's been a very long time since I played this. This is a very long, complicated level. And I actually kind of like that because it's a nice change up from like what we were doing before. We've gone from killing enemies to wandering through different corridors to wandering through a large area which is dangerous inherent to the area rather than for uh, enemies in the area. Now this area is lit up, which means we can hit that. We can... Oh, that's a health restore, not a oxygen restore. I'm sorry, I thought that was a raw oxygen restore. Apparently I'm stupid. All right, now that should have opened another one of the control systems back here in the middle. Let's see if it did. Uh, did it? I don't think it did. I, I, yes, it did. It opened to this one, which we can then hit, and that will turn on power somewhere else. And that will probably turn on the power over here and allow us access to the final area. And we go up through here. Yeah, as you can see, the power is back on in here, and this area is now open. So the blast doors that had closed now allow us through. Now, there's no way to extend a bridge here, and you can see there's a hunter over there. That's a more powerful hunter at that. So we're going to reload our ammo. We're going to run through the open air, and because the ox the gravity levels on the marathon are relatively low, we will not fall far enough that we can can't just climb, step up the step. And this is the transmitter array. So we have made it to the transmitter array. Now we hit the buttons. UASC Marathon. This system has been activated. System activated by official security personnel with level 7 security access. And we wander around and we hit all four switches, which reactivates our the the transmitter array here, which is a one a two dimensional object in a three dimensional world, as you can see, because I circle it and it's always facing towards me. So you'll run into stuff like that in a marathon. Now we got to go back to where we started the level to get off the level, because that was our objective that we just finished. So now we just go back through the middle, go back where we started, and that will be that. I'm sorry the commentary on this level was not all that great. This level is not very exciting. It is very dangerous. It's just dangerous because of the world that you're in and not because of the enemies. And they deny me my favorite weapon, the uh, grenade launcher. So I can't even free, uh, freak out about shooting people with grenades. Incoming us, uh, nope, that, okay, that's where we were going. Oh, that's the uh, transport terminal is in the middle. Okay, sorry folks, I did that wrong. I'll go back and find the one, yeah, this one here. So the transport terminal is that there. Okay, here we go. Incoming message from Lila. You have done well. I have sent a message to Earth. I sent all of the information we have on the four. Their behavior, their technology. The message will arrive in 92 years. There has been a swift attack on the engineering section. The four have brought in heavier troops and the security details in that section of the ship are being overrun. The recent lull in battle must have been an effort at reorganization. We must defeat the four by subterfuge of some sort, as I'm afraid that we are doomed if we continue to, to meet them in battle. Their resources appear limitless, and I have reason to believe there may be other four ships in nearby systems. I am sending to you to the engineering section, section to rescue the security detachment. You will have a, to clear the area of aliens. Teleport when ready. End message. And that is it for G4 Sunbathing. We are now on Blaspheme Quarantine. I will see you guys next time. It has been awesome. I've been Alucia. Thank you for joining me.